Well, the process is basically the same. The equipment changed. The real issues back then were the fact that the ice quality varied dramatically building to building. You've got a building here that's got windows, doors, glass, steel, concrete, and you're making something that is unnatural. So what you have to do is lock out that outside environment and control it to maintain that inch and a half of ice. This is our chiller barrel. It's basically a heat exchanger. This is what cools down the brine solution that we send out to the rink to freeze the ice or maintain the ice temperature. Humidity is probably one of the biggest factors in, in getting a good sheet of ice and playing a good game on it. I think it's almost everything. So when the humidity is up in the building, the ice gets a film on it. And when you start skating on it, it becomes snowy. And the snow gets saturated, which makes everything slower. You want to keep like 45%. The ice makers are a big part of what happens out on that sheet. It's an interesting career. You want to build this ice up slow with no air. You don't want any air pockets in the ice. You want a nice solid sheet of ice from the cement all the way up. A lot of the stuff we have here has changed over the last 40 years simply because we had these great big huge two inch fire hoses that would go out and flood the ice. And they would flood the rink like a, like a lake. And that's not, that's not the way to do it, you know. <laughs> that doesn't fly anymore. <laughs> Let's say we're going to make ice on Thursday morning. We would start the plant up Wednesday night, pull down the calcium chloride that's running underneath the floor of the rink to basically a 16 degree slab, which is the concrete underneath the rink. And then the following morning, when we hit that 16 degree target, we would go out there and put water down. The process is actually really quite simple. It's not that tough at all. But it really starts with a good, clean concrete floor. And your first spray is the water. I like to put down anywhere between an eighth to a quarter inch of ice, and then you apply white. We apply three coats of white. You want to make sure it's as cold as possible so the paint freezes. It doesn't get trampled on with the hose and your feet. Once you spray it down, you want it to be frozen and you can walk right back on it. From there, put another eighth of an inch on top of that. Put on your lines and circles. 20 feet from the front of the line. So it would be 20 feet, two inches. 20 feet, two inches. Once all the lines and circles were in, you would put your logos in. Some of them are painted. At the Center Ice logo, it's all painted by hand. Uh, we used to paint everything by hand. The printing process is as such. Certain colors are not available. And the Islander logo's got a certain brilliance to it. You want to tell me that's a print orange? It's a day glow pigment that's actually added to it to give it a little bit of an edge more than anything. It gives it that pop, and you can't get that out of an ink. I feel an ice maker from way back is, does the refrigeration, drives the Zamboni, builds the ice, paints the ice, he does everything, soup to nuts. That was the old school ice maker. I believe in doing it all. Um, uh, I'll do that till I'm dead.